Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new video for you all today. So as I promised you all last video, I was going to consider killing gargoyles for 30 hours and fast forward 3 days, here we are. Uh, I do want to say that gargoyles do require quite a lot of items to make it a lot more bearable and just much more efficient. So I do want to go over those items real quick. So first thing you need is a gem bag which you can get from Motherload Mine. Reason you need that is for all of the uncuts that you get. And my oh my, look at that shield left half. Did not expect to see that on the ground so early on. It must be like a rare drop table drop or something. But yeah, I also recommend uh, to bring Guthans, Super Combat Potions, Prayer Potions, um, a Smash Weapon. You can bring in a Bludgeon like I did. You can bring a Zamrock Hosta. You can bring a Hammer. Pretty much bring anything. Uh, even a Whip works pretty well there. Uh, but yeah, Guthans is a definite must. Uh, it makes the trip 10 times longer, and you don't have to bank that much, if at all. Just depends on if you want prayer potions or super combat potions. That's not even required, to be honest with you. Um, high Algs are definitely needed, so I did bring a rune pouch, and all of my nature runes and fire runes went into there. And you can high out pretty much all the rune items, rune full helm, rune battle axe, rune plate legs. Uh, adamant boots and adamant plate legs are optional, but I do anyway because it does add up over time. Uh, you can also out the unnoted rune ore because those don't come noted, unfortunately. Uh, picking up the pure essence and the fire runes is optional. Not many people do, but I did because, trust me, when you see the price check, you guys will understand why. Uh, it does add up over time. You gotta understand, when you do something for a long period of time or extended period of time, picking up everything is always nicer because it usually adds up, so I don't know, it's just up to the person, I guess. Um, but yeah, looking at the drops, I did, like I said, record all the granite malls. I did get the Mystic Rope Tops on video as well. I think I got about 11 of them, but I just had too many clips. However, the Mystic Rope Tops and the granite malls definitely helps the overall price check, and we are about to get into that with live commentary. So I do want to say, if you guys have any other suggestions on what 30 hours you would like to see, especially Slayer related, um, I did really enjoy doing 30 hours of Abyssal Demons. Uh, and this was 30 hours of Gargoyle, so we went from 85 Slayer requirement to 75 Slayer requirement. Uh, maybe next video we'll go down another 10 and maybe do Dust Devils or something like that. I'm not too sure, but yeah, we did end up with 20 Granite Malls and 11 Mystic Rope Tops. Now we are going to price check everything else with live commentary, so thank you guys very much for watching. Let's get right into that, and I will see you next time, guys. And 30 hours later, here we are guys with the final price check of the video, killing gargoyles for 30 hours. First things first, let's show the hours played. Uh, so this video took about three and a half days to make total. Did get pretty lazy towards the end, I was taking a lot of breaks and whatnot, but yeah, the initial uh, KC of the video was 2,800 gargoyles, that is what we started at. And if we check the Slayer log, we can see here that we are up to 7,210 gargoyles, which rounding down, that means we killed about 4,430 hours. That is, uh... That is really good. We did use an Abyssal Bludgeon the whole time. The only thing that I wish I would have brought was a Ceridome and Godsword, but unfortunately I just didn't have the money for one, so I just stuck with a Bludgeon. So before we get into the price check, the XP that we got, uh, we started at 42.6 mil strength XP. We ended up getting about 1.7 mil strength XP total. We also got 160k defense XP, which is what you get when you wear your Guthans, so that pretty much tells you how much I was healing, uh, which was all from Guthans. We got 630k HP XP, 30 30k magic XP just from high alks, and like I said, we did kill 4,400 gargoyles. So that is the statistics, uh, they are found right there. And now it is time to get into the price check. Here we go, guys. What did we get in 30 hours of killing gargoyles? 10 mil cash, which is just from high alking. I mean, if it was on the ground, I high alked it. I did pick up all of the gems, which are pretty much in the bag, and those are in the bank. I did pick up all of the granite malls and all of the mystic rope tops, and those are in the bank as well. So, price checking everything, including the pure essence and the fire runes. I really went the extra mile for you guys this time. I wanted to get every aspect of every drop that they uh, pretty much had because I really wanted to get the most accurate price check. So, yeah, 147k in pure s, you can pretty much much debate if those are worth picking up because they're the same price of the gold bars so that's kind of a uh, good reason as to why I picked them up as well. Uh, looking at the chaos runes, the death runes, a decent amount of chaos runes, not, not that many death runes, I did expect a little more, and 50,000 fire runes which go figure is more than the gold bars and the pure s. Um, not combined, but it's definitely nice to see that. So 5.5 mil, let's just round up just in normal drops. And then of course the 10.3 mil that we have in Alkables makes it 
15 point, let's just say 9 mil, so 15.9 mil. And now it is time to go price check the granite malls as well as the mystic robe tops. Okay, so here we are in the bank. We are just going to bank uh, some of these drops here so we can withdraw all the other ones. Uh, was really surprised to see such a nice price check from gargoyles. I've honestly never killed them before, so it was really surprising to see such a nice amount. But yeah, getting all of the gems out and 20 granite malls total, 11 dark mystic robe tops, as well as two loop halves, one tooth, and one shield left half. So that was, I think, at hour one, we actually got that really early on. I'm not sure how rare that is, but definitely stood out. But uh, okay, let's do the price check of the mystic robe tops, which comes out to be 789k, so it's about flat 800k. 20 granite malls comes out to be... Ooh, 600k. All right, yeah, don't you just wish those were more uh, GP? My god. Uh, and the shield left half, and of course, uh, the gems. Let's just throw those in there. The gems do add up. The uh, A lot of people don't pick up the gems. They don't pick up the adamant plate legs. They don't pick up the adamant boots. So you can definitely make money from other people. That, or I'm just stingy. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's another 1.7 mil. So we have 15.9 mil plus 1.7 mil, and that brings the total price check of 30 hours of killing gargoyles to 17.6 mil. Now, if you want to minus the cost of super combat potions, uh, the cost of prayer potions, you know, the nature runes that I use to high out, and of course the barrows repairs, let's just really be uh, over the top and minus 0.6, 600k from all of that, and you get 17 mil in 30 hours of killing gargoyles. Now, the only thing that I can say is that I pretty much camped in world 361 the whole time but there was quite a few people there gargoyles are very crowded i'm not too sure the comparison of those versus wyverns but i would definitely recommend them i really enjoyed killing them for some reason it was just really enjoyable to do this just for the xp and not really focusing on the drops i was very afkable and i really do look forward to maybe doing another video of them on the future on my iron man uh next time and we'll see how that goes so yeah thank you guys very much for watching if you have any suggestions for a 30 hour that you want to see done Done, make sure to leave it in the comment section below the reason I did this 30 hour was actually because someone just left a random comment in the last video and it had like 17 thumbs up so if your comment has a lot of thumbs up I will most likely uh, you know really take to that idea unless you're the guy that says go buy beer at the bar in Falador and bank it for 30 hours straight I mean I, what is wrong with some of you guys I don't I don't understand anyway thank you guys very much for watching I really do appreciate it I will see you next time and until I bet you guys thought I was gonna say mr. no sleep out well you thought wrong. Not this time. Maybe next time, but, uh, no. Not this time.